All right, guys, so I'm here at Active Feet. I've been told here to come get a new pair of shoes for the Great Ocean Road Run. I'm doing the 6K. I've never had shoes fitted before, so let's see how we go. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good. So here at Active Feet, I guess our aim, our aim is to fit you in the best shoe for you in terms of support and comfort too. We could get you into a shoe that's really supportive or perfect for alignment, but if it's not comfortable, you're not going to enjoy wearing yep. it. Um, so what we'll do today is to pop your shoes and socks off. Yep. To start, we'll go for a walk on the treadmill just to look at your natural gait. Yep. Cool. Um, from there, we'll explain the shoe well and how shoes are different, and then we'll pick out a few shoes and try them on. Awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we can see the slight E version or rolling in of mm -hmm. the heel. So we'll go for a walk now. Version is staying in place, but you're pretty stable, so you're not pronating more than you were at a single stance. Yep. Good. So copy there. Coming over to the shoe wall first. We structure our wall in different categories by putting them on a space in the wall. Yep. So for example, the highest controlling shoe would be near the top. It's heavily structured. So nice thick wave plate through here and bulky flesh. Um, in comparison to something like this one, we can see it's lower profile through the wave plate here and quite lightweight. Awesome. All right, so she's going to get me, going to get me a pair of shoes. I'm a little bit nervous because, I don't know, I've never really thought about what shoes to wear before. I didn't think it was that big a deal. Boxes. Okay. So this one's probably slightly more supportive than you're used to. In this case, you've got a little bit of extra room through the top here. Yeah, so it feels want, a bit spacey. Yeah, so we want enough room in depth and width, but not too much that you're then going to have to grip with your toes. So you do have good toe room, just a little bit extra depth. All right, to the treadmill. The time to run. <laughs> Bit Feeling clunky. a little bit, yeah. Bit clunky, like I just felt it like. There's a little bit more shoe than what you're used to. Yep. So the support is probably good, but it is a little bit more thick through the back of the shoe yeah. and through the top here. Any slipping? No. No. Beautiful. Let's try the other one. That's a little bit more lightweight. Okay. The fit's always crazy because I, every shoe I'm like a different size. Yeah. So between brands, they can vary okay. up to half a size, yeah. um, depending on the shape of the toes as well. So if you have a square toe, you're going to have a little bit more room than if it's slightly yep. more pointy right. or okay. narrow. Um, what we do suggest is making sure you do try them on. That's why buying online can be difficult sometimes because yeah. a 10 is not really universal. We'll see. Now these feel already a little bit better. I like this. Another pro tip, <laughs> they even tie up your shoelaces and I'm dying for you. <laughs> How's that for service? What we can see here is that you probably roll in a little bit more than in the previous shoe, but at a run when you jump back up onto your forefoot and the foot locks up, there's a nice stable back platform for that to, to work with. Cool, excellent. Good. They felt good, they felt really good. Good, so what I like to talk about is just lifespan of the shoe. Mm -hmm. So when you're running, you're running with six times your body weight going through your feet. Yeah. So that shoe's trying to hold you up. And unlike a dress shoe where you wear once or twice in the last five years, you're wearing this quite a few times a week. Yeah. So we need to take into consideration that it's a tool to help us run better yeah. um, and only a tool. So yeah. they need to be replaced. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna go and smash records now. Yeah. Look out. Enjoy your Awesome, fun. thank you very Have much. Yourself. Thank we'll you. See you next time. Yeah, see you later. Oh, all right. Thanks, Sexy Feet, for the new shoes. Can't wait to try them out. See you guys at the start line.